Hey, good morning. We're here on the farm. This is the Ohio farm, so hope everybody's doing good this morning. Got a little background light. Oh, I know. Let me switch. Oh, there's Lorna. Good morning, Lorna. Let me switch a light off here real quick. Hi, Rob. Be right back. There we go. I have a, uh, a light over there. If you leave it on, it leaves a bad glare. So, greetings, Rob. Greetings, Lauren. How's everybody doing around the... It's the world. I think nobody hears from uh, America yet. <laughs> you know? So, Rob's overseas, and so is Lorna. So, glad to have you guys. Happy. It's sunny out. It wasn't as warm as I would have liked it to be today. Let's see what our temperature is right now. It says it's... 50, it says it's 61 degrees, so it needs to be warmer. <laughs> you know me, I complain about it. And Lacey's right down here. She wants to see what's going on. She goes, hey, Dad, what are we going to be doing on the farm? Well, we're just going to walk or work around the farm and just see what we can find to do. We, we've got some cows here. There's Bree. Good morning, Bree. How's Bree doing? Good to see Bree on this morning. I love to see everybody come on Saturday morning and uh, hang out, check it out, and uh, just get together and spend an hour and... We can talk about anything we want to talk about. It doesn't matter what it's about. We can talk about farming or anything else. It doesn't have to be farming. Um, this week I've been busy. I replaced the faucet in the kitchen. Have any guys ever replaced the faucet? It's there. Oh, there's hi. Here's Sonia. Good morning. Here we are again. Good morning, Sonia. I tell you what, that's a job. You know, you you replace the kitchen faucet. You're setting on a. Um, your back, or not sitting on your laying on your back, up underneath the sink, because you got to get it way up underneath the sink to get everything all the way all done up. And I, it hurts, and I'm still sore. That was not yesterday, day before I did. So, plus, it's nice. I've been putting this replacement off for a real, real, real long time because I knew it was going to be a painful experience. And But, you know, I, I imagine I saved, I'm going to guess, four to $500 in having somebody else do it. I'd do it myself, you know. Oh, hey Timmy, good morning everyone. Good morning Timmy. Oh, Rob, so who's who made bacon? Anybody made bacon? I haven't had any bacon for a while. Good morning cutie, how did you sleep RGG day? So how is everything after the surgery, uh, Sonia? Is, are you feeling better? Is everything settled in? Doing all right? So uh, give us an update on how things are going. You guys hate glasses? I get one little spot on my glasses. It just drives me nuts. Is that just me or is that everyone else that does the same thing? It's like, you know, one spot on my glasses. Now, we got some, uh, this is actually, it's not coffee. It's, it's a beer that has no alcoholic. There's no alcohol in this, but it, it's a mocha por porter, you know. My thing says pause. I wonder why it says pause. I don't know why that is. is in my pause room, is it coming out all right? I see it on it. It says pause, but I don't know why that is. Oh, I know, because the game, the game here, we have to get the game working. Let me hit a button here. Still said, well, it might take a second because we have a delay. I'm putting some, this is a, a cow barn right here. And it has a robot that feeds the cows. And so I've added some stuff. I just put some hay. I think I need to put some straw in here too. Let's back that up. We'll put some straw in there. Straw and silage. See, this is an automatic setup, you know. So I can, I just put, let's put some, find some hay, or straw. Let's find some straw. Get to it. Wheat, barley, oats, so come on, where are you at? Straw, there's a lot of things you can put in there. Straw, straw, where are you? When you're looking for something, it's always the last one. There it is. Whoop, back up. Straw. Hit that point. Now I got a load of straw. I'm just dealing with surgical pain right now. Nerve pain is gone. Everybody uh, has done pain. So just the surgical pain of it itself, you get that taken care of. You should feel much better. I hope so. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So straw not accepted. Why not? I want straw here. I hit the wrong button, I guess. Well, let's put some silage in there. Let's try that. 
Maybe I've already got a full thing of, of straw. We'll try silage. Oh, there's Sue. Good morning, Sue. Got her a minute. She was over there in the Tampa area. And uh, oh, you have eleven staples. Isn't that funny? They used to stitch you, and now they put staples in there. Let's put some uh, silage. Try that. Where are you at, silage? There it is, back up. Silage. Let's see if it'll take the silage. There we go. Hi, Sonia sent a picture of a little old lady dancing last night. She was awesome. Isn't it funny when little old lady or little old men that dance, you know? They can dance, they can dance. In their underpants. That's, uh, it's funny watching old people move. They move slow on it. Oh. So everything sound okay? Because I get a pause to this over here. Is my screen looks okay? Uh, let me know. Sound sounds okay? Uh, just so I know I can fix it, you know? I saw it. She looked fun. Yeah. Some old ladies have a lot of energy and some don't have a lot of energy, you know? Some people don't really have energy, but they put it on. Hi, Lorna. So do I have a good... Oh, you might not be able to see it on your phone, though, on it. I was trying... Because it says pause over here, and I don't understand why my on my screen says pause so is the picture of me even up it doesn't matter it's up so anyways let's move on because the um let's see what's around around here on the farm it's it there let's but yeah this is our cow farm show you inside you can hear see the cows there's my cows they must be eating or something they're scratching their nose Bob everything is on okay thank you Timmy appreciate that for the update I usually like to ask because sometimes if I don't ask and something ain't working quite right then I don't know Anyway, this is this is the cow barn here. There's all our cows. They're all gonna get up. See, I walked in here, see one's getting up. He goes, oh, what's going on out here? Are we gonna get some food? Let's walk around the outside of the cow barn. There we go. Hey, Bessie. How's it going, Bessie? Pretty cow. Looks kind of like a deer, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Does the deer have any dough? Yeah, two bucks. Around here, if I had my milk trailer, I could come over here and uh, open the milk. These doors sometimes open, but I forget how to open them. Anyway, so let's go on. I know I've got some chickens over here. Sharon is ready. She starts speech here on Monday. Talking there, he still has some issues, words, and yeah, it'll be a while. Maybe some of that stuff on his throat never goes away, you know. There's a little bit of eggs here. Not a lot. Weird, I never got your... You well, you know, I don't know how these things work. I share them all out the same way. and uh, But as it goes, if you know, I'm always... There's Rick. Hi, Rick. It's every Saturday morning, 9 o'clock. Every Monday evening at 6 p.m., so it's always the same. I, get, I rarely, rarely, rarely ever miss one, so um, that's the way it is. There's some barley. Let's let's fill this uh, cow barn up with some barley. But well, it didn't take much. So you guys up for a morning uh, Bigfoot ride? Help her out as long as you need to, Sue. Well, she's been there long enough, so. She does better than I do. <laughs> All right, we got the Bigfoot ride. You guys ever go to the Coliseum for the uh, monster truck rally? And oh no, I'm gonna crash. I knocked down that sign.
Bob misses his sweetheart. Well, of course, it's been, uh, it's over a month now. For a week trip, now it's over a month. Uh, her daughter is coming out from Kansas on April 17th. That's a long ways off. Hi, Steve. That guy walking around the farm, should I scare him and run over him? What's, what do you think? Hello, Golden. How you doing, Steve? Good to see you. This thing's hard to steer. You notice it just goes off the wall. It's a good way to go around the farm if you don't get too uh, too crazy. I enjoyed your video on the mini speedway, Bob. Oh, thanks, Lorna. Wasn't that cool? I forgot that came out yesterday. Yeah, on it. That's just about, it's not very far from here that they have an RC speedway. They race little sprint cars and late models and uh, modifies and all kinds of really neat dirt race track. And uh, I go over there. I don't usually stay long enough to watch the whole races there because it's just a lot of standing around. And if I watched too much, I'd want to do it, <laughs> you know? Jump over the house, please, Bob. I don't think it'll go that high, Timmy. I don't know if it'll go that high over the house or not. We'll find some stuff here to jump. Let's, uh, let's ride, drive it around a little bit. I've tried jumps and stuff now and then. See, the house is just, it needs a ramp, Tim. Uh, the house is just gonna go bump, run right into it. I can show that to you, watch. Let me go up to the house. Well, it did go up, but it didn't go over. You need something that's shorter to go over top of. I wonder if I can jump over a load of materials to be delivered. That's what she said. It's too short. Let's go over top of this. Let's see if I can get over the top of this. This is a delivery trailer. No, nope, that one just ran, ran into it. It has nowhere to get up on top of the... Maybe the back end of it. This is birthday cakes. I tell you what, if we can't dump it, let's deliver them. No, nope, it's not gonna work. Yeah, let's park our truck somewhere and make some delivery. Or should we park it over here by the uh, chicken coop? Oh, now I got a chainsaw. Where did that come from? Oh my gosh. I don't know where that came from. I don't know how to get rid of this chainsaw. <laughs> All right, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Going water with my racing buddy, Carlo. Just got notification. Bob is live. Kind of late, isn't it? How do I get rid of my chainsaw? I bet I know. There we go. All right, let's get in here and unload this birthday cake so we get over to it.
we can fill it more we got this is fabric here at the cotton mill I've been trying to get that whole thing on load we'll come back to that and we can deliver it over at the place where they make shirts and stuff the barley there at the chicken there's our birthday cakes let's go deliver birthday cakes uh, I think I'll have to go to the store somewhere So, Sue, is it warming up over across there at Tampa? Barely warming up here. So, what's everybody doing over the weekend? Everybody got plans for the weekend? Actually, tomorrow, Sue decided she wanted a new chair. She found the chair her sister had that she liked, and so she found that one and placed it in order. It should be here tomorrow. Truckload of cakes. Where's the three students when you add? Nyah, 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 nyah. Certainly. So go real fast and take the cake 90 mile an hour. Oh, it's cool over here this morning. 62 going up. That's about all it's going to go up to here about 72 which is barely warm Sue who lived in Florida first you were sharing Sue now, I've lived here longer than anybody I lived here in 98 or 99 during the wildfires tw over 25 years ago Oh, picked up daughter for a sleepover and taken her to family on the beach. Oh, that sounds good for a beach adventure. It didn't. It didn't buy all my cakes. That sounds good. A beach adventure. I've been over the beach for a long time. When you live near the beach, I don't go over there too often. Well, we should find another place to sell these cakes. They didn't take them all here. They must be cake full here. Anybody have a birthday? I'll dump you a cake off. You can drive it to wherever you want. I don't know. This truck will probably make it. Oh, it's 46 outside. It's actually, let me bring up my weather thing. We're at, let me refresh this. It says it's 40. It's 61.9 right now. 61.9 is our temperature. Sounds fun, Bree. I'd like to have somebody to hang out with. I've been alone now for three weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. I'm tired of being alone. I talk to people, but... I've been editing photos and videos from our final days in Canada. We're in a way. Oh, cool. I'll be checking them out, Steve. I watch all your videos. Now, as most of you do know I watch videos. I don't comment because I don't type. That's why I talk. <laughs> you know? I've never been a typer. I can't spell and I can't type. But I do watch the videos all the time. I watch videos all day long. There we go. How much money are we making on these birthday cakes? I'll go further. We got a couple more, four more cakes. There you go. We made, oh, two times, 65 and 15. So that'd be, uh, what, 80,000 bucks, something around there. I moved here first. Yeah, Sue's been here before her sister, quite a while before her sister. Bob, we talked for a long time last night. It's good to have friends. It is, it really is, Greg. It keeps me from going completely crazy. Everybody knows I'm crazy. But to have a friend to talk to and be better yet if you could just hang out for a while. The dogs are great, but they don't talk back. <laughs> well, they do in bark language. <laughs>
And we got one more pallet of cakes there. We can maybe as well pick that up. No use to deliver them yet for just one pallet. Let's see if we can load that. There we go. Load it on there. Take the straps off. Now we did some birthday cake delivery. Somebody's going to have a good birthday because there was a lot of cake there. Yeah, Rick, we had a lot of fun just chatting and talking. We talked quite a while. It, it's good to have friends. Friends that you can relate with. This here looks like it's got some stuff in. Here's some cotton. Let's let's pick a little bit of cotton. I don't know. Cotton picker. It takes almost two years to produce videos from our Alaska trip. I plan to get them out far more timely on our upcoming return. Oh, that's cool. It does take a lot of time. Actually, me and Rick was talking about YouTube and how much effort you put into it. It's a lot of work. That's what friends are. You're right, Rick. Friends will always call you and be there for you no matter what. You know? But yeah, it takes a lot of effort to, you know, you got to go video a thing. And it's hard. You get dead and you get tired of the same thing. And you don't get much return from it. And so YouTube channel, do you work hard for YouTube? You look a hard, lot harder than if you just went out and got a job. And I don't doing it for the job, but I do like the income from it. You know, it's, uh, it wouldn't pay the electric bill. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't pay most people's. So the trouble I can combine this cotton over, but I don't have no space for cotton over there. It's full. A 15 minute video takes two to three hours or more to produce. Yeah, that's about true. If you really put the effort like you do, Steve, you'd put a, a tremendous effort in it. I used to put a lot more effort in my videos, but then, you know, you could spend hours and hours and make a video and you get 25, 30 views which doesn't pay much, <laughs> you know? It's like, it's just a lot of extra effort. So I don't put the effort I used to with all the graphics and all the stuff on it. It says, I've been so tired lately, but I keep putting up videos. I know, I get tired. I'm tired right now because of that, doing that sink. That sink, oh my gosh, it about killed me. Laying on your back, working up over the top of your head, trying to get up in there and try to get things hooked up. And oh my gosh, it was, uh, it's a chore. I've been putting it off for a long, long time because of that. And uh, you pay for it. You pay dearly for it. It'd be nice to be able to afford to say, have a plumber and come do it. But I've never done that. I've always done everything myself. I can upload my share of videos in 30 minutes. There you go. It says my mother Jenny moved here a few months before me. It must. Uh, before me. I thought he'd come here after you, but it might be wrong. I thought he did. And I got here in 14, Sharon moved here in 19, oldest brother here in 21. Okay. When I moved down here from Ohio, yeah, it takes a long time to make videos, a lot of work. It sure is. Uh, it, it just, it takes a lot. Desert of Ezra says, good morning. Mount Dog Lucas gets many more views than I do. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a lot of people get a lot of views. And Awesome flute sort of sounding good right about now. It is good, you know, it is good. It would be better, but it, it's good. I wouldn't really want to live anywhere in the world besides Florida. Good morning, Steve. But anyway, I was starting to say, people told me that they go, ah, you won't be in Florida a year, you'll be back. Well, that's been over 25 years ago. No way do I want to go back. <laughs> yeah. I love Florida. The best place in the world to live. Get here and get lined up. Good morning, Lorna. Welcome Desert Adventures. Glad to see you come and join us. Hey Sue from Lucky Dog, this is my new YouTube channel because of my old account. Oh, you, oh, you switched? I didn't realize you had switched, Timmy. So anyways, you know, I've got 83% here in gathering up cop cotton. 
it'll spit it out all over the field and then we come along and pick it up and then take it up to the spinnery which I think right now my spinnery is full that's where we took the uh, let's go back over there a second let's see what we got here in the spinnery there it's right in here See, here's the spinnery. We've got a bunch of cotton bales sitting there. Let's uh, let's get into the uh, truck. Oh, got your got hacked. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah, see, there ain't. Uh, I need to clean that out so I can make more room for more stuff in it. Now I was done, we, we have a lot of, this is honey. Let's take honey over. I have a cereal plant that I've been working on. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to do this. Let's, um, I've got some oats. I needed some more oats over at my sugar plant. Cotton farming is big here where we live. I, a lot of places are, you don't see a lot of cotton farming around Florida. I imagine there is some. I don't know the weather's probably just right. There's Cindy. Hi everyone. Good morning Cindy. How you doing this morning? Good to see Cindy up and on and I'm looking for this field. I've got some uh, I got so many vehicles. I have to scroll forever to get through to my vehicles to get where I want to go. <laughs> Should almost be there. So how Cindy's doing? This is one spot. Let's move this trailer out of the way, anyways, while I'm here, because this is the field I want to be in. Oh, I felt an earthquake. I heard that that there was a pretty good size earthquake in New Jersey. That's something else, you know. What do you remember? The Richter was it five, six? I, I heard it. That's funny, Cindy, I didn't feel anything. There's a lot of weather's been weird this year. Definitely has been different. The Bible said it would change. Oh, 4.8. Okay, that's about what I heard was a 4.8. I think maybe Rick, did you tell me that? I think Rick might have told me that. I'm doing good. Some knee pain, but I was fine. That's great. I'm glad you're doing as good as you can be done. <laughs> you know, I had knee pain because I was, like I said, I put a new faucet on the sink in the kitchen and I was on my knees a lot and my knees were killing me. My back was killing, everything was killing me. If you can afford somebody to do it, let somebody do it. I can't afford someone to do it. So I do it myself. I've always done all my work. Yay, had an earthquake. The earth moved under my feet. Isn't that a song? All right, let's go down here. I know I've got a load full of oats. Bob and Sue and me are some racing will coming to Volusia. Bob and Sue, me and some racing will come to Florida to Volusia Speedway. Cool. Been over there quite a few times. Been a long time since I've been there. And in fact, I think. Merton and Sue's coming. I think Merton wanted to go over there. We'll see. The only one my mom felt was an aftershock 6 p.m. Other than that, nothing. Sorry, Cindy, I'm having a health problem, but I tried to ignore them and keep going. Well, you know, just about everybody has some kind of an issue or other with your health. And I have just as much as anybody else does. Uh, but, you know, Jesus takes care of it, not meaning I'm pain-free, because I'm not. But I just keep on going. Remember, Bob, if your nose runs and your feet smell, you build upside down. Fun, <laughs> Steve. I'm upside down. Yes, felt the earthquake, shook the chair I was sitting in and rattling things, but not big enough to scare me. I lived through worse in California. I've only earthquake 
I can really remember is just minor ones where you could just kind of a little rumble. We'd get uh, rumbles like that from the, the, the uh, or they have that bombing range over in Ocala, you'll hear that one. We get that now and then and feel the door will shake. The patio door will go brr, 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 and it'll shake. And uh, we'll, we feel that. Hurricanes have been through many, many, many hurricanes and uh, they could be unsettling. They don't really scare me, but uh, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, Sue's property, we've got about all the trees trimmed out as much as we can trim them in order to, uh, there we go, let's, let's go on load this down at the uh, cereal plant. Oh wow, I felt one in Ohio. I did too, Sue. Um, when I was working up at Chellis there at the poultry shop, there was one I saw the the fluorescent lights shake, and you could feel it. You know, it wasn't scary. You know, but I do remember the one in Ohio many years ago. But that's the only one I can say I really remember as an earthquake goes. Is that one up in Ohio? I think they've had some around Florida here, but nothing I can say I've really felt. I feel more airplanes and, and rocket launches than anything else. That was an earthquake. It was Donna Summers on the radio. There you go. When you get in the truck, let flip the truck with all stuff, Bob. Flip it over. Well, we'll see one. Maybe I can get back to it, but we'll try to flip it over. Flipping the truck. Timmy, you should have done demolition derbies. You tend to like those. I've been in three demolition derbies in my life. Aha, Rick. That's our pigs. We're growing more pigs right here. I just put that farm in this morning. Got several there. I got spotted ones, plain ones, black ones. Got all kinds of cool pigs. Here, he's going to follow me. He goes, you got something to eat? Look, they're all coming over. They want to check to see if I've got something in my truck for them to eat. You know, I don't have nothing here, Piggy. If you remember this area, we're going to stop here and get out a I minute. Mean, I want to show you. Timmy, do you remember some time ago we were looking for old race cars and I found this junkyard? Timmy likes junkyards. What kind of car is that? Is that one of those new Tesla trucks? I've never done anything live with a cab <laughs> with a Wi-Fi. Oh, a cave with a Wi-Fi. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a Tesla? Ori in the junkyard? Yeah, this is a junkyard. You tell me we got some Mustangs. Like what, about 65s? Isn't that pretty cool? I used to like, I hung around junkyards a lot. That's why, I, if you, a lot of you have seen my stock car I had, I built it out of a junkyard. Another Mustang. Look, an old Roadster. Uh, it's pretty cool. Well, I tell you what we'll need to do is we need to bring over the monster truck and see what we can uh, jump around here in the junkyard. There's another. That's like a, a, a race car. Sonia says, Bob said, Tesla. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, there's a Tesla already in the junkyard. Anyone must have some trouble with his uh, vehicles. See, isn't that a weird looking vehicle there? Another roadster behind it. Pretty flowers. There are a lot of old junk cars here. More Mustangs. There's a boat. Tesla. All right, Timmy, should I try to go get the uh, junkyard, the uh, monster trunk and bring it over here and see what we can jump? We'll, we'll do that for right at this moment. Look, inside there. There's some old cars in that garage. They all look the same. And a bicycle? Is that an e-bike? Looks like a Ford junkyard. It really does look like a Ford junkyard. Let's still see if we can find our monster truck. Take me a minute to scroll through. Let me scroll through and see if we can come up with the monster truck once and bring it over here to the junkyard and see if we can do some damage. 
of some kind. Where are you at, junkyard? I'm looking for my monster truck. Oh, there it is. There's my monster truck. That's right. I parked it right here by the chickens. I've outlawed. I drive a Ford. Well, we drive a Mazda, but you know, Mazda and Ford are about the same thing. I've liked my Mazdas. They've been, they're good cars. I've had a Mazda truck once, bought it new. Great. Never did a thing to it. I mean, Sue bought this one. Oh, what did we get? 15, Sue? And uh, we've never had any problems with it. The only thing, tire sensor, uh, wasn't even a sensor, it was just a tire leak and that's all we ever had. Bob, don't, don't over Mustang because it's a lot of money. You know those old cars are worth a lot of money. I had a 65 Mustang when I was younger and I also had a 74 Mustang, which was those little ones, but it was a piece of junk. I hated that car, it, it didn't run right, I ended up junked it with about 12,000 miles on it because Ford wouldn't stand behind it because the transmission went out. So that was probably the worst car I ever owned. Looks like a Ford, Mon it is, look, that is a Ford monster truck. That'll suit jumping over Ford cars. Yeah, it was, I think it was 15, so I think you're right. And uh, so we've had that car now, well, what's Ford, what, nine, nine years? Doesn't seem that long. It's still only got 20 some thousand miles on it. It's like brand new. We take very, very well care of that car. That's our lifetime car. Supposedly lasts us rest because it sets in a garage. Try to keep it in good shape, you know. Here we go. Now we're getting down here to where the trucks are. I know because I just built this pig farm. Somebody's walking down the road there. Hey buddy, you want to get run over? Shall we run him over? Hey, hey, look out. Look out. I guess I'm going in here anyways. You're lucky. Let's jump over this Tesla car. I never seen the outside of your car, but the dash looks nice. <laughs> well, look, I didn't even go over it. It went through it. Is it gonna go over this one? Oh, I went over those two. Right, let's see if I can go over this new truck. You think I can get her down off of there now? They do some cool things with those monster trucks. I was watching on TV one day. It's like, it's amazing what they've done with them. Shall we run over a boat? We could load it on this trailer here. That's just a pile of steel. Another Ford truck, laugh out loud. Ford sponsored this game. It sure looks like it, doesn't it? See, look, it goes right through that Mustang. They're tough. They're bulletproof, you know? You can't hit them, you just won't go right through them. You're not gonna wreck them because they just go through it. It drives the other vehicles no damage, I know. Even those old Ford Mustangs, you watch, I just go boop, go right through it. Wait a minute, I got hung up on it a little bit there. There's Lacey. I'll run that guy over. Let's just see what happens. Ah! It never even moved. See, it went right through the guy, too. This new truck, it'll go over it, though. Hey, 
it drives over vehicle. No damage, yeah. How do you like that? What about this old, look at this jalopy back here. So go through that, right through it. What about jalopy? Yep, right through the jalopy. You think we can jump over the uh, mobile home? Let's give it a shot. Oh no, I almost went on my side. I can drive up on the front porch. Can you drive over the house? I'm gonna try that. Where are you at here? House, right up the front porch. See my back bar? Look at the engine, it, it, it lights up. Oh, it just run right into that house. It didn't go over, it ran right into it. There, I'm up on the front porch. That's where we're gonna leave it right now. We're gonna leave our truck up on the front porch. Just to see, we'll come back with it later. I bet that guy gets pissed straight in. I bet he's gonna be mad. I bet he's gonna be mad. All right. If you remember, we were delivering oats down to our cereal factory, but I got sidetracked here when it came to the junkyard. I like junkyards, they're fun. Is Lacey a junkyard dog? I don't think so. She's a good dog. She's laying right down here below me. All right, let's go down here and see if we can deliver in his truck. I think somewhere on this farm I might even have a dog. Fun, there was no damage if it was only like that in real life. Yeah. Yeah, if you could stay safe and like run into things and had no damage and that would be cool. That would be cool to do. So we're going to uh, go down here and see if we can see. Now we have our horse farm here. We have to come up here and ride the horse a little bit. We haven't rode the horse. But up here we're going to the right and then there's a uh, factory up here that I've been trying to make cereal. Ground silos. Little park right here. I put London broil on slow cooker last night and it's calling my name. That sounds good. I got out and soon what I'm talking about, these little steaks. You get like four in a pack, these little round steaks. And I was doing them on the grill. And last time there's four in a pack. I did two one day and two one day. One day I did them on the grill. The next day I did it in the air fryer. You know, it was better in the air fryer than it was on the grill. I season them up really well on that, you know, and I put them in there. And I like a nice charred burnt outside and inside, you know, to be more, more medium. Let's see if this will take my oats here. This is my cereal factory. Are you going to take my oats? There it is. Bob, if the man gets mad about the monster truck on his house, tell him, Timmy did it. Yeah, it's Timmy's fault. That's Timmy's fault. I'm going to look at the statistics here on this factory. It should be in here somewhere. should be a, a factory for making cereal. Figure out where All these are things that I can work on. Where are you at? Cereal factory, pet accessories, donuts, bread. Oh, where's my, where is my cereal? There it is, cereal factory. There it is. As you can see, look, it looks like I got enough for everything. I've got some oats and corn, raisins and honey and it's making cereal, so we should be able to go in here and load up some cereal and deliver it. It wants to call Lorna Lab out loud. Bob, this truck, this, Bob, this truck is kind of slow. Well, trucks aren't really fast. I need an empty container. That one's got honey. 
Let's go find ourselves an empty delivery container and see if we can, uh, there's one. It doesn't have no eggs on it, so we're going to um, take this down and see if we can get some cereal. This is up here by our, our northern milk plant. Laugh out loud. And let's see if we can get some cereal. Cereal make, pays good. There's a deer out in the middle of the field. He, he disappeared. That was a disappearing deer. Oh, one just ran over. No, he's okay. Go, go deer. Where you at? There he is. He's all right. Good. Don't ever want to hurt an animal. Ever, ever hurt an animal. I wonder why they call that cut of beef a London bro I don't know. Do they make it in London and send it over here? <laughs> Good question, Rick. I'm not sure. Anybody know why they call it a London broil? What makes it a London broil? I don't know. I've never been to London. There's a lot of places I've never been. There's a lot of places I never care to go. <laughs> I ran over that woman. She went right through the truck. Well, let's see if we can get some cereal out of here, if it's produced any yet. There'll be no live stream on, today on Captain Jack's channel, so yeah, Jack's not going to be live today. I mean, how's Jack's newer truck going along now? Has he gotten things straightened out? Because Paris Boil sounds like a person. Ah, oh, Paris Boil. Have a Paris Boil. Is she a singer, Paris Boil? Or, or is that something on your butt? You get a a Paris boil on your butt. And like they said, she's got pimples on her butt. She's pretty. Oh, I don't think it's put any cereal out here yet. It's going to take a little time to produce some cereal. There's none here. It'll be right here. We'll have to come back for that. Hey, what I'm going to do, though, I'm going to jump out of here. I'm going to take a little walk up here to the horse farm. Yeah, Paris Hilton is a spoiled brat. Yeah, she sure is. A lot of people are spoiled brats. They don't have no toughness. I grew up on a farm, and you automatically come along with some toughness on the farm. You don't whine at everything, you know? And hard work on the farm. You get up in the morning and before daylight and do you start your work. I still do that. I'm enjoy watching. Oh, good Sunday. I'm glad you are. And you know, that's my whole thing is I like to put these on and try to make a little entertainment. Just to get up Saturday morning and enjoy. Have a little fun before you do the rest of your day, you know. I see some horses over here. I know where my other horse is at. It's not here. It's up on the commercial end. No, that sounds like it would be a low country boil with crawl ship, crawfish, shrimp, potato, and corn. That sounds good. That sounds good. I like seafood. I haven't had any seafood for a while. See, here's where the horses are. I don't think I can get in the stall to mount the high horsey. Can I jump the uh, fence? Let's back up a bit. If I can back up, go from the outside and jump it. I can't get get it centered up. There, I'm in there. Now, if I can't get this horse to mount, I have another one I'm already mounted. I can't get it to work. I can't mount you, horsey. I'll tell you what. Found yummy, Simmy. Cindy? Can't talk right. Let's go. Let's get back over here. 
jump the fence. Let's go across country here and see if we can find our other horse. I know I've got a horse up here. Figure out where it's at. Meantime, we'll just take a nice run. Here's some a fill of barley it could be harvested. Yeah, I know where it's at once I get my location where I'm at. Hit this once. There we go. Now, I, oh, I see I'm going the wrong direction anyways. I got to go this way. Going the wrong way. Run, Forrest, run. I could eat a bowl of pe fruity pebbles. You know, I always liked cereal, but I quit eating cereal because the only way I like cereal is with a ton of sugar on it. don't need that much sugar. And so... The way I control it, I just don't eat it, you know? Nothing, I, I don't let nothing control me, you know? Sugar, whatever it may be, I control me, you know? It's like bad habits, I decide I'm not doing it, you know? I just don't do it. And that's how I take control of that. I'm, I don't have a very addictive personality. Yeah, Long John Silver gives you a ton of food. Says Reg Sue ate there somewhere. I don't know where she was at. She said, and last time I ate there it was such bad food that I couldn't stand it. But it might have been just that particular restaurant we was at. Plain Cheerios suck. Yeah, yeah, they need sugar on them. Lots of sugar. I don't know if we have Long John Silvers around here. I don't eat out, so I don't. You know, there might be one around here. It's something I was just never much on eating out. It costs too much. I never made enough money to just go out and eat out. There's something ding on my phone. See what that says. Sent a new photo. Oh, that was Sue. Oh, cool. Uh, you probably can't see it. Sue had sent me a photo. I'll look at that closer in a little bit. Now where am I at? What was I doing? <laughs> Get rid of that map. Don't need that. Somewhere over here, I know there's a horse waiting to be ridden. We're going to go through the water. Bloop, 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 bloop. This is our main commercial area of this farm. This is where it has stores and factories and McDonald's. Somewhere over here, there's pancakes. I think it's down here. Oh, there's there it is. I knew it. I knew it. There's my horsey. There I am on the horse. Look at this. Lorna, you're awful quiet. Let's go for a horse ride. You ever see a horse that you steer with a wheel? This is one of those horses that you steer with a wheel. Bree, do you have any of them? Do you have any horses you can steer with a wheel? Bree has horses. Now, right there, I want to show you an example. Stop a minute. Now, there's a, there's a horse's ass. Now, am I talking about the horse or the person on the horse? So we'll just take a little horse ride here. A little canter. That's a nice ride when you canter a horse. Just a nice little, I don't, but don't, but don't. KFC. I like KFC. And <laughs> no string wheel seat belts. <laughs> you might have those installed on there, Lorna. I don't know. Not Lorna. Bree. I get my thing. And you're old, see, your mind don't work. So that's what happens. Is this horse a pinno or a paint? You know, I don't know. I don't know if it's a pinno or a paint. Pretty. I love those colors of horses. They're, they're just a beautiful horse. 
Quero ler o nome. Quero ler o nome. Quero ler o nome. Hey, so here's a question for some of you guys who lives up north, Pennsylvania, in those areas. Does Amishmen ride the backs of their horses? Or do they just ride, with, pull a buggy with it? So what do you guys think? I see a heart on its butt. Oh yeah, I do too. Look at that. That's a sweet heart of a horse. Thanks, Bree. Figured out you would know. Yeah, Bree knows. She's a farm girl. So we'll ride our horse down here by the greenhouse. And we're going to go back up into the woods and see what we can find up into the woods. How long have we been on? We have 51. We've got a few more minutes yet. Did you know Colonel Sound has killed a man in a shootout? Well, I did not know that. I did not know that. Well, we got some uh, vegetables to collect right here. Looks like it's getting darker than April. And what time is it? Oh, yeah, it's 17, so that would uh, that'd be around 5 o'clock. Bob Bree said it's a paint with a heart on its butt. There you go. It's a paint horse. He says went to Steak and Shake for the first time since he was a pandemic. Always loved their burgers. I always liked their burger. Shakes an atmosphere. Now the place sucks. It has no waitress. So it's everything went to hell, you know. I'm sure Amish ride horses, but I've only seen them ride bikes. You rarely ever see a Amishman ride a horse. Get on the back of a horse and ride. Your order's confusing the chaos. Oh, the chaos doesn't know how to speak English. <laughs> yeah, I, you, rarely would you ever see an Amishman ride a horse. Uh, you see they'll you know, either pull a buggy or a trailer or something, but not often do you see an Amishman just get on the back of a horse and ride a horse around. I don't know why that is. I wonder if there is some reason behind that or not that they don't actually ride horses. You know, you'd think they would. I thought I'd throw that out there and see. What I thought maybe Rick would might know because he lives right around the Amish country. I grew up around the Ohio Amish country. All my life lived around there. The, one of the largest Amish settlements in the world. I had neighbors as Amish. Yeah, so many things is so scurry now out. You know, it's not like it used to be. About a month ago here, I went and got a monitor for this room here for my security camera. And I was trying to get some help. You think any of them at Walmart actually knew anything or actually was even willing to help you? Just hardly at all. They just, like I was bothering them, you know. Oh, well, Steve, it's entertaining with waitresses, like interacting with people. I haven't been in a restaurant. Um, have I eaten in a restaurant? I have not. Sue, have we eaten in a restaurant? I don't think I have. I know you have, but I haven't. I haven't. I've been to a drive-up window. Yeah, I see horses pulling buggies. That's the main thing. They're just pulling buggies around. Yeah, I haven't been in a restaurant. Oh, wait a minute. No, we did. Where did we go? Somewhere we went. Who did we go with? Somebody. Didn't we go to the, the barbecue place over here? I think we did. What was that about, Sue? Do you remember? I, I don't remember. If so, that's the only one I've been in. Look, there's a chair sitting there. If you get tired, you can come out here and sit in that chair. Or go down the slide. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, Sue, but that's, we've been once. Oh, there's Rat. Good morning, dog. Good morning, Rat. How you doing? How's Rat? Hope things gone good up your way. Weather's still been cold down this way. They installed portable kiosk pads at tables in Olive Garden. It didn't, it didn't work out. Now the waitress... I'm trying to die. Waitresses uh, use portable kiosks and place your order. And glad the waitresses are back. Yeah, I want to see real people. 
I went to barbecue for my birthday at, at Brian's and Nicole. Yeah, see, I didn't get nothing for my birthday. I was by myself. Mm -hmm. Didn't go out, didn't do nothing. Sue got me a pie before she left. Uh, yeah, the birthday was a very lonely day. Hello, Sue. Hello, Ron. Happy birthday, Ron. Happy birthday to you, Ron. We're not getting older. We're getting better. Thank you. Lacey knows it's about time she's coming over here to the chair. If I can pull back a little bit. Can you get up here? Come here. Can you come up here? I'm sitting sideways. I don't know. Bob, how you got a new e-bike for your birthday? Oh, yeah. I don't believe so. <laughs> So, uh, Rick thinks you sent me that e-bike. I go, I don't think so. So let's clear this up. So did you send me that trike for my birthday? I don't think you did, did you? That was just a random uh, to do a video on. The company sent it to me. So clear that up, Sue. Yes or no? Did you send me that bike? I don't believe you did. I believe that came from the company. <laughs> Thank you if you did. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, how old are you, Ron? Oh, down in the valley. Oh, we made it. This is where we were picking cotton a while ago. I'm young. I was born in 66, not 65. So you didn't answer me. Did you send that e-bike? Yes or no? I don't think you did. Oh, I, no, I didn't send the bike to Bob. Company sent it to him. Do it. There you go. So yeah, Rick says, Sue did that as a surprise. I go, I don't think so. I don't even think she actually knew what company it came from. And if actually I had her sent me, that wouldn't be the one I'd had her sent me. <laughs> hey, Sue. Got you by one. So how, Ron's 65? Or 66? I missed it. I was talking. Okay, so there we go, Rick. We had that little discussion last night. So we was trying to figure that out. It wouldn't have surprised me if she had done that. That wouldn't surprise me in the least. I really wasn't in the market for another e-bike. I just, they sent it to me for free to do a review and I did. And I have never heard nothing from them since. I was trying to communicate with them and they go, no, we're not going to give out anymore. I go, well, that's not what I wanted. I just wanted to let you know I put the video up. <laughs> Ron was born in 65, I was born in 66. So awful close. I was born in 53. You want to come up here? Huh? You want to come up here? She don't want to jump up here, but she knows it's about to end up. I got one minute. We're going to park our horse over here and in this chat. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and saying hi and spend some time with me. And it means a lot to me, very much a lot. Ron, do you ever see Surge Ron e-bikes? They are fast crazy. No, I haven't seen those. Yeah, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Yeah, it's been fun this uh Hanging out here, we're sitting on our horse. Took a little ride. This guy looks a little bit like Bob. Yeah, Paul the ground. You know, it has been fun. I'll be back here Monday. Sue will be here Monday and online. She won't be here. And um, bye, Bob, Sue, and the crew. So uh, check us out Monday on it and we'll hang out. Everybody have a great weekend. I'm going to try. I'm not expecting much. Um, so, uh, it's sunny out, but it's still chilly out. Let me give you a final weather. Let's see what the temperature is right now at the end of the chat. It is now 66 degrees, so it's definitely a lot warmer than it was when it started on it. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for being good supporters. God bless. If you don't know Christ as your Savior, I invite you to go find him because it would be the best thing you'll ever do for eternity, you know. 
folks going for a bike ride to Cheyenne Saloon. Cool. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Bob, I'll call you. All right, Rick. I'll talk to you guys later on. So, so much love each and every one of you guys. So I'll see you the next time. Let me figure out how to stop it. In, stop.